Hey, Edgeforians. Um, we're going to look at how to make a test available for online testing. Um, the first way I'm going to show you is if this is a campus level or district level test. So not a teacher test, but a campus level or, di or district level test. Um, after I show you this, we'll look at how it works for a teacher test as well. So um, on a campus or district level test, you're going to go to the administration tab. You're going to go to collections. So this is after you've assigned it to, you know, the appropriate students. And you're just going to make sure that online test is enabled. You're also going to want to make sure that teachers um, are have online test proctor and control. So it's going to be administrated by a teacher. Um, testing style, leave it as interactive. This is where I can also turn on a calculator. Um, so I have basic and scientific available. And then um, I can also preview what the online testing screen will look like for students. Um, so I can click this and it will actually show me what it looks like um, for kiddos. So another window opens. Um, again, this is probably for this um, for this time period, it wouldn't preview because my administration dates are, are wrong. So I'd want to make sure, again, my administration dates were right for the administration window. Um, but you're going to want to make sure that online test is enabled, that teacher have proc teachers have proctor and controls, and then you can again turn on or off your calculator. Um, and then I can preview online testing here. For a teacher, um, it's pretty similar. So when I am on the, again, I will start here from the questions tab. If I go to the administration tab, I'm just going to leave this as interactive only. So just an important thing to know is that tests default to these settings. So unless you've changed the test, uh, unless you've edited those settings on an assessment, these settings will be set up. Um, correctly to administer a test online. The only thing you may want to do is again enable these calculators. Um, you know when students are in school they you know you may hand them a calculator but if they're at home trying to take a test they may not have a scientific calculator or even a basic calculator at home so you may want to enable um, calculators during this time. Um, you can also preview your online test by clicking the preview. This is again the teacher teacher administration um, by clicking that. Um, you can see that it previews with our text-to-speech feature. The text-to-speech feature we'll go over in another video. Um, that actually has to be enabled for students who have oral administration on the STAR or text-to-speech as an embedded support for the online STAR. And so um, that won't default as on. And again, the calculator won't default as on unless you turn them on. Um, so all students would get highlight options. Um, they would have the ability to flag um, options. We'll do a video later over what this looks like from the student perspective. But just know you can um, preview online testing. Um, that's the way you do it. Just preview online testing. You click the little magnifying glass and it gives you an idea of what the test will look like for students. We highly recommend that you preview online testing before you administer a test um, just to make sure that everything is working correctly and everything looks the way that you want it to look. Um, but that that is how you set it up to administer a, a test online. Um, and we'll do another video on how you proctor the test online and then also another video about what it looks like from the student perspective. Thanks so much.